Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Craft Room at Camrose Public Library. If you're wondering why I'm so horrifyingly close to the camera, it's because for this project, you guys are gonna to need to be able to see my hand very closely. Um, what you are going to need are your hands and two or three different colors of yarn. Because we are going to make the cutest little finger knitted snakes. I've never done finger knitting before, so this is a new process for me. And there's his tail, and there's his fat head, <laughs> and his forked tongue. I am so happy with him. So that's what we're gonna learn how to make. So what you need to do first is get two colors of yarn because we are making a multicolored snake. And you are going to take your yarn and you are going to use these two fingers. So placing your yarn, you want to hold it with your thumb. Leave yourself a tail so you can hold it. And we're going to wrap this around and around and around and around. I did that wrong. We're going to edit this out. I'm going to start over. Okay, I figured this out. I'm gonna splice these two videos together and I'm gonna get closer to the camera because I need to be able to see what I'm doing and you need to be able to see what I'm doing. So, holding your two middle fingers together, you're going to wrap it around and around and around and around. And you're gonna do that again because we need two layers of two colors on each finger and we'll leave that in the back. So now what we're going to do is see how there's an upper level and a bottom level. On each side we're going to lift that bottom level up and into the middle and you can pull things a little bit tighter. And on the other side, up and over to the middle and pull things a little tight. So now with your long side again, we're just going to do that over and over. We're going to go around and around and around until we have two layers again. And up and into the middle and up and into the middle. I'm going to pull it tight. I'll show you a few more times. Around and around middle, up, and to the middle. You should start to see around the back side here, you've got a little knitted piece starting to form. So we'll keep going. Around, and around, and up, into the middle, and up, into the middle. Pull it a little bit tight each time. And start with yet another one. This is pretty repetitive. But once you get a hang of how the stitches actually work, it's pretty quick to finish an entire length. I'll show you again at the back side how our tail is starting to come. So once you get it long enough, you just keep doing the same thing around and around and around, up and into the middle, up and into the middle. If any of you have ever used a rainbow loom, it's very similar to a rainbow loom, but instead of using elastic bands, you're using yarn. So I am going to, you just keep repeating that method that I showed you until you get your tail or the a tail and body of your snake as long as you want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here and I'm going to work furiously to get a really long tail on my pink and white snake and then I will show you the method to make his fat little head. Okay, I'll be right back. The magic of truly terrible video editing, I have returned. 
with a full bodied snake. So now we're ready to start making that wider bit that will be your snake's head. So we will do one more just as a reminder of how to do these ones. So around and around and around, picking up, dropping it in the middle, picking up and dropping it in the middle. Now, to make his wider head, we actually need to add more stitches. So, instead of just using two fingers, we're gonna use all four. So we're gonna take our string and we're gonna wrap around each and every finger, including your pinky and your other finger. So we're gonna stop right there and see how we only have two that we can knit right now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna knit those two, pop them over. Basically what we're doing is adding stitches. And now we're gonna go ahead and wrap around every single one of our fingers, weaving in and out. until each one has two knittable stitches. So we're gonna start here and pop them all over. So that's one we've done with all four fingers. So we need to do three stitches using all four fingers. See how I'm weaving it in and out? And we have to go back the other way to catch these fingers so that each and every one of our fingers has two stitches on the front that we can then pop over into the middle. Give it a little tug at the back to make sure they're nice and tight. And we're gonna do that one more time with all four fingers. So now we have to do something that's known as casting off. We gotta get rid of these extra stitches on the side. And that is easily accomplished by taking these loops off of your fingers and just popping them onto the fingers next to them. Pop it onto the finger next to them. And then you can see we can start knitting these two fingers. Now we're just gonna pop those ones over, pop this one over, and we're gonna do that one more time. gonna make his little face a little bit more tight and now we need to get rid of we need to cast off the entire thing so we pop this over to this finger we take this bottom one so we're only knitting with one now see how you have a little loop there that little loop there is going to be where you are going to tie it off so grab some scissors cut yourself a length Take your little ends, stick them through that loop that you have left, and pull. And now we have a fat head on our lovely pink and white snake. Um, that's the trickiest part, is adding those stitches and casting off the entire thing. I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to actually do it, show you how I made the little tongue. I just took three pieces of red ribbon and I braided them together. Just a simple braid. I hot glued it underneath his head. And then when you get to the end of that braid, you can tie it in a knot and cut off one of the ends of the three pieces that you use to braid and that will make the little forked tongue. And then I hot glued 
eyeballs on him too. So that is how you make finger knitted snakes. Um, I hope you enjoy. Practice lots. Bring your snakes in to visit me at the library. I'd love to see them. Thank you guys and have a good day.